Hello, welcome to Armor. We're an internet marketing company and digital marketing agency that has worked with a lot of clients with their websites. And so if you did a website with us, most likely it's actually on our local server. We host our server here in our location in DeKalb, Illinois, with our fiber connection and redundant connection that allows us to do a little bit more administrative work and custom software and systems for people. Uh, we've done hundreds of websites and a lot of them right now continue to build up in our framework called Arrow. But what I'm here to talk about is actually really focusing on how to use a lot of your hosting. So your hosting may be controlling your email files and some of the other security you may not be aware of. But I'm just here to show you how to get to your hosting, reset your passwords, uh, manage your email and files and some of the other security features that are actually built in. So in our server, we actually have an application called cPanel, which is actually one of the most popular ones right now on the market, as well as we've been using it even before GoDaddy. So going to your website and then going to cPanel after the domain name will bring you to a secure portal that gives you that access. Now, here we can go and you can change your language or you can also just reset your password if you've forgotten it. All you need to know is your username. So for that, we just need to log into our system here and it will show you and you can always save your password if you like, but we do have, uh, we do recommend that you have a certain security strength and be very careful with your, with your passwords in your browser because they can be exploited by other uh, different plugins and things that people have been using. So I'm going to choose not to save my password. So. Here we have a lot of different applications. This is opened up into your control panel, which in case you're wondering why it's called cPanel, uh, they really got the name from control panel. So I wanna to talk to you about a few of the main functions of this control panel system. So all of these different sub dashboards here, so we have files, email, database, domains, metrics, security, software, advanced, preferences, as well as a uh, Softaculous app installer, which has about 400 different open source applications that you can kind of play around with. So it's kind of like getting hosting here and then you can have free websites by just really installing WordPress with the themes, Drupal, Joomla, all kinds of different options, as well as OpenCart, which is another popular e-commerce platform. Let's go back up here and actually take a look to see our file manager. So the main points I want to talk today are going to be file manager. We're going to look at the backup wizard, email uh, accounts, and a few other features here. But File manager is kind of important. So it's really where your website sits. So coming into here, this is all of the files for your website. So when you wanted to throw something up online real quick, if you needed somebody to download a file or uh, get to certain pieces of your website or where they're at, it can actually be seen through here. So this will show all of the different web pages and any documentation or any application, anything I actually sat here, this is the front facing system that shows up at your website. So when I go to armortext.com, this is where it comes to right here and then accesses the index.html file and then the website shows up. So kind of basic systems. And as this does it, it'll open up new tabs. So you can come back to the other tab here and then go to the next part that you'd like to see. It has standard FTP accounts, but also has backup wizards. So Coming into here, you're going to be able to make a full backup of your website at any time you'd like. So if you're worried about hackers or any other issues, and while we do daily, weekly, monthly backups, it's more important too, as well as just for your own uh, security, take, take a backup anytime you want. Another important feature of this too is coming into your email accounts. So in a basic hosting platform, typically we, we allow 20 to 25 different email addresses. So through here, we can add email accounts. We can come into the email accounts, access them to make sure that we're following, you know, that your employees are doing certain things. You can kind of check to see how things are going on and do a little bit more tracking. Also, you can change the password. Come through, generate a more complicated password if you like, save that. And it's gonna allow you to control all of the administrative features of your email. Default email accounts. This also allows for anything that if it was kind of uh, people are emailing things to the wrong name or anything else, you can set defaults to go ahead and come to so you will always get that email. 
You can also share address books through here. There's another additional module that's a calendar feature inside of the cPanel's hosting that allow you to share address books as well. And just like anything else, going back to the home, coming back through and just taking a look around again, another important piece to come through is everybody is concerned with spam. So cPanel runs a email application called Exim. It's pretty much the email server. It integrates with something called Spam Assassin. So in Spam Assassin, turning on different settings and things through here will allow you to start doing more filtration. You can do a lot of the email filtration globally or locally through this system. Once these things are on, coming back into the home here besides your spam filters, accesses global email filters here. And we have different discard rules. So we can create a new filter and we can call it whatever we would like. And we make rules from something contains a certain piece if it needs to. If it's from you know, test at AOL, AOL.com. Right. And anything that is from test at AOL.com, if it equals that amount, is then discarded. And you create it. And now the filter's created. And in the filter set itself, I can keep adding additional filters. I can do additional options. So this is a good way to manage your email when you're getting a lot of that different spam from certain websites or getting certain words. The same thing too is that if it's uh, not only from, but you can find it where it does not have, or where it has certain spam scores, where it's two, if there's anything in the header or anything in the recipient. Anything in the header is going to be that information of some of those certain words. So if it contains anything you uh, anything you want to block. So and again, I could just type test. So anything that would be anything in that email that contains test will then get discarded. So being able to use a lot of the global email filters will kind of help you guys kind of get rid of a lot of that extra spam. A lot of our clients that are our priority clients that have us on contract, we actually go through now and create a lot of additional email and global filters for them. Now coming through two is managing your databases. So I can come into my MySQL databases, create new ones, give certain permission sets, and develop all of those right here. What's always kind of fun is there's open source applications that are plugged into a lot of these systems like PHP MyAdmin. Right? So coming into PHP MyAdmin, I can go into my database and I can see some of the different things that I might want to do. So if I want to check one of my databases and I want to come into a banner, all of these things that are doing that are coming up, every single option and different pieces I click. Actually, you can see your select from banner actually starts writing the SQL statements for you. So you can actually come into here and do different searches, do different SQL statements by automatically building them through here. Might help you doing some development work as well. Also helps us a lot when we're doing testing and going through people's sites. Now, another good part, managing your domains. So when you sign up with a hosting with us, we go ahead and we configure typically one or two domains into the account. And a lot of those too have subdomains and they have other domains that have to be redirected, which we can put on here as aliases. So I have several different domains that were older ones that we had that just do redirections. Uh, when I bought out direct response web solutions, they, I moved their domain on to us, which actually that's been years ago. So now I'm, I'm going to let that one go. And when I'm done with it, I can just simply remove it, remove the alias. And now it's gone. A lot of the stuff in the control panel system here through cPanel really does allow quite a bit of flexibility that almost anybody can really manage their own website and hosting once they just have their account set up. And as I want to go to, I can also do redirects. So any of the different pages or sites, uh, I'm sure people hear a lot about uh, 301 redirects and how important they are for SEO work to make sure that they're going to the right locations and domains can all be configured through here. And actually what's really cool about any of the spots that you come through here, you'll end up finding different links to documentation in cPanel's uh, documentation itself to really describe just about every function that's in this place or in this panel. Coming down through here as well, it also has a nice little zone editor 
which allows us to go ahead and configure all of our records. So ArmorText records for its DNS are all configured through here. We can add records, add different subdomains, point different pieces around, all kinds of different stuff that we can redirect and really work and control the domain. Now, outside of the domains area, we can also see we have a metrics. What's great, you know, Google Analytics tracks, they track everything too. Uh, but they don't see, you don't see a lot of the traffic that uh, their JavaScript sees as crawlers and hackers and some of these people. But however, coming through, just going into actually what's the raw statistics of your site is what's tracked in cPanel. cPanel will go ahead and really use some, some of the software is a little archaic. However, what it does do is it grabs everything. This is fairly archaic. And here so far in October, I've had 55,000 hits to my site. And if I keep going down through it too, I'll see how many of them are actually good, how many of them are all of these different codes that come up, and they can all be researched. And a lot of the analytics and stats here, while it looks a bit archaic and not as pretty as you'd like it, uh, it's extremely functional. So seeing what people are hitting what. So even here too, I can see that in a lot of cases, I've probably got some people trying to hack my site by certain files it tells me that they're trying to access. So it's a good, uh, it's kind of good to see too where my site is built uh, by our custom arrow system, which we do not have a WordPress login on. However, people are trying to access a WordPress login. It just means that there are some people that are just crawling the site looking for certain files that they're trying to use to exploit. And it's a little harder to do that in arrow. But some of the top pages that are going to, people are just going right to my main page. But I can see there's a lot of 404 pages. So people, a lot of things that people are going to, not actually finding. Yet again, back to the crawlers and people looking for certain things that aren't there. So a lot of good information actually in the raw files inside of your hosting panel. So and, and really all this stuff is in any cPanel and any hosting you may have. So some laid out a little better than others though. Now, coming into security, there's a lot of people that are going ahead and trying to hack into your site or different exploits, some putting viruses through your email and all kinds of different pieces. You also, there are other sites and that continually try to come to your site in general, which you can find their IP address and you can block them. So you can set an IP in here. They won't be able to reach your website. Mod security here is another feature that is essentially turned on on most people's sites, but you can add additional rules as well. Mod security stops a lot of different things of coming in and doing uh, different SQL injection attacks, server side cross scripting, and a lot of different features that it goes ahead and stops. You also have an SSL cert by default working with Armor. So there's an auto SSL cert that reinstalls itself about every three months to actually continue to refresh your security in your site. You also can in some case, uh, working with us too, depending on what you're doing, we will work with you on some of the SSH access if you're doing different security pieces with your website. Also, we have a lot of different softwares that can be installed additionally. So one of the things too is that there is the Optimizer website system here. What this is, is it uses an application called GZIP, which goes ahead and does a lot of site uh, compression for a lot of your files, images, uh, and different useful well, files of your site that people are downloading. So this system goes ahead and will compress all the content as I tell it to. Update the setting. Just one small feature that helps to actually deliver the content to your website a little bit faster. Coming down through some of the other software, a lot of people are doing custom programming and even depending on what you're using, if you're WordPress, Drupal, and some of the other CMS systems, there are different pair packages, Perl modules, and other pieces in PHP libraries that you may require. And some of those can be installed through here. As well as, we still had a software app install our piece that just really links to the other one down below. In advanced, in advanced, if you're doing a lot of the automation stuff uh, and using your website can really help your company out by doing some more efficient pieces of being able to, you know, work with uh, different uh, appointment uh, software, different 
pieces that you can go in and set a cron job. A cron job runs an application at what time you tell it and how many times, which is actually pretty helpful, especially for us because we actually run our ticket system that goes ahead and keeps updating itself, sending out messages, starting to really work into that. You know, what we hope is going closer to artificial intelligence to keep letting us know that things are going on, ticket needs to be addressed, and little pieces like that. As well as we can track DNS. So a lot of these different pieces in here are tracking different DNS uh, so that you can see if your site or if your email is actually getting to where it needs to go. As well as error pages. You can make a lot more custom error pages depending on what's gone wrong with you know, if, uh, if, you, if it hits a 404 page, you can make a nicer error, uh, nicer um, error page for yourself to help redirect clients to let them know where they need to go or what they might have actually missed. Uh, also, if there's exception pages when you're programming something, there's 500 error instead of the boring Apache little handler that comes up, you can give it something pretty. Virus scanner. And so we also end up giving a little bit of uh, using... A, Clam AV actually will scan a lot of the viruses that come through the email to get rid of those first. So you can tweak settings and stuff through there. Preferences. So in preferences, this is where you can change your password and kind of up your security. It just depends. You can make multiple user accounts and allow people certain access into your hosting. Changing languages is pretty self-explanatory. Uh, changing style. So I'm using a dark theme in here, which kind of makes it a little easier on the eyes for a lot of people that have... Uh, vision problems, it's a little bit better for contrast. So, but if I go back to basic, I can also have a nice clean white system too. But I'm going to leave it dark. So, coming back down through here. Is really the last big thing is this probably the software apps installer, which actually has a lot of different ones that are these main pieces like popular names, WordPress, OpenCart. Joomla. And as you come down here, if you're looking for different it's categories of some of these, if I want microblogs, uh, guest books, there's just a bunch of different software. I can make a little calendar application for myself. I can add in some other different portals. There are all kinds of different CMSs. So which is CMS is content management system. And I mean, if it's not just Drupal. It's not just uh, WordPress. There's Concrete 5. Concrete 5, I really feel, has a nice little builder that allows you to drop drop quite a bit of stuff in. Now, all of these two, you can experiment with. You know, Try them out. Install them. See what you think. And really, I mean, when we do our basic hosting, it's really just $100 a year, and that includes the cost of the domain. So if you're interested in any of these features, uh, please contact us at our website and... Or you can email me at david at armortext.com and let me know what you think. I've got a lot of different options for people to work with. And it allows a lot of really good features for all these different parts of cPanel. So I hope you've enjoyed this uh, overview of cPanel. And if you're working hosting with us, these are a lot of the tools that you guys should be aware of. How to get to them and how to use them. And experiment a little bit with them as well. So see if it's something that might be able to help further your company or maybe your own personal portfolio. So we at Armor also thank you for working with us and we'll talk to you later.